a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's Stay. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roots clear. There's a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. The pain residence. Dr. Magdalena from ER, you can give away the bed you were holding for me. That detective we were waiting for was DOA. She's headed for the morgue. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! Hey! 
You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Oh, bullshit! my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. Tried to run from it, edited it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rearview mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. No, 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 oh, no, no. 
God, Jared, baby! NYPD. Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to do is go to the crime scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. After you, detective. To show me the way upstairs. Whatever you say, detective. He's a shoot! <laughs> Perps were masquerading as cleaners. I'm not a violent man by nature, but it pisses me off more than anything when. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised, something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. Anything for this. Enough chit-chat. Finish her! Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We, we can... NYPD, drop them! Finish her! Oh, God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Come on. 
Finally. Hey! Mona? Max. We gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away. We're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down on the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! 
I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Someone was talking on the other line. Nothing to worry about, baby. I'm going to be all right. When haven't I been all right? Max is here now. You know Max. I'll call you when it's over. I love you, baby. Vlad was a perfect gentleman, reassuring his girlfriend. Someone other than Annie. You're Max Payne. Afraid so. Max, I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride. Just follow the trail. Tone it down. Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Set for a tooth. The only way to do it. Hey, Chip, one of ours, we go dental on him. <laughs> hey, what can you do? Vinny's the boss. What the? Truth! Ah! Truth! Damn! Ah! Enough, cap! Shoot! wouldn't be able to hold on much longer if it wasn't too late already.
Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Oh, no, thank you. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? So go around and kill him! Kill the cop! The way your hands are shaking, you couldn't hit a truck! Shut up! Shut up and die, Russian! Any incognito, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. 
<laughs> what was it you did for a living again? Scout's honor, detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murders. I was hiding in a cheap motel. One night, I woke to a knock at my door. Someone slipped a note under the door. It was a clue. We need to hit the place now. Pain's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Bring them down. Shoot the kill. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down. Put it down now. Nice.
waking up, the world is a blur. What was clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone. And now I was being shot at. I had to catch her. Something was barring the door from the other side. Oh no, you won't! Get out! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. Okay. Let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police.
cops here. I'm at home. The cleaners have hit the building. I'm the target. They come in numbers. I need help. Max? Okay, hang on. If we're on our way. We'll get you out. Hurry. This is so difficult. My lady? My lord, I came to see you, but now that I'm here, I can see that this was a dreadful mistake. My lady, no. Surely. My lord, I should go. Should anyone see you together, your reputation would be ruined. My lady, stay. My lord, please, forgive me. My lady... Uh, no. Uh, no. Put it back on. They'll hear. Kaufman wants us taken care of. They jammed the elevator. A nice young man coming to see an old lady like me just passing through ma'am such a nice boy not like the ones upstairs they say they're renovating but it's too quiet they're up to no good the doctor gave me pills for my hip but it's all better now you should take them <laughs> would be neater. I've heard them talking in the corridor. Keeping times. Oh, I remember the sunless day. I found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They'd been spying on me for days, weeks. Months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now. Nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They crave. No, they want to clean. Die. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Die. Die. Ah. Thanks, fella. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. These are terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows. You know Ed, the janitor. Oh, Ed. 
These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh, yeah. 667. The <laughs> neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah. I get it. Okay. You stay here. Okay. In our headlines. to madness. I was lost in the streets of Noir York. The city had swallowed Mira and my girl. The explosion in my apartment had started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Crap! 
take this! Oh, crap! Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Open the door! Somebody! <coughs> oh, oh, bless you. <laughs> I, I only... On second thought, you better stay back. Ah, right. <laughs> Why the hell would I risk my life for this? Anyway, huh? Goddamn slime bags, open up! There are people- You trying to kill me, you idiot? Gas valve was in the utility room. With the gas turned off, the fire on the third floor was no longer a problem. They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Gogniti is behind the hits. 
Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. as a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. It makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. They must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord. Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. Now, I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. 
You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. You operate the elevator from here, and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Max, those cameras are my eyes. We need them to make this work. I call the police! Well, that's just... Hold it! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. I'm in. Gotta look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. Stairs. Strip it down. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. 
In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. On the balcony. Mona, I missed the elevator. Cleaners on another floor ordered it. Nothing I can do. into the next door apartment the cleaners came from. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below from there.
Okay. Nice timing. Starting to sound like a broken record here. More cleaners to the right, in the lobby, behind the door. Thanks. Address unknown continued. You can't hide! I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Down there! He's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Find him and take care of him.
Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Pain, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't no envy you. The way the boss goes on. Have work to do. No use going in there to clean up. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gognitti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room, getting a statement from a witness. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them. I wanted to talk to Winterson's witness once she was done with him. They must be stopped by any means. The honor of the whole... can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Stupid. Doesn't look like I'm open for business. Jeez. When the door's closed, it's closed for a reason. I am so... How do you expect anyone to remember your name? Because yourself, Rasad. It's basic positioning. It all starts with a name. None of that matters. When I crack this case, Miller, they'll remember. Like you're ever gonna crack. Be on your back about it till you do. Ten four. Repeat. Can you verify that? Okay, stand by. Go ahead. I 
I wouldn't be afraid to go home if you'd be there. I can give you my number in case you ever get an urge to protect someone. Did you hear that? Tonight. Guns don't kill people. Video games kill people. I thought about walking away, vanishing into the night. Can you verify I that? couldn't do it. Okay, stand by. Go ahead. Negative on that. Can you for crying out loud, is it too much to ask for some privacy? The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Pain here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. <laughs> Not again, Chief. Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the inner circle was mentioned. The door to the station's garage was locked, except for when the perps were brought into custody. Can I use your phone? I mean, sure, There's I'd be okay the door if we had behind Hannibal you. You in custody every night, as long as he keep his stomach... I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Strap it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker! Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. Help! Somebody! Die! Die! Coward! Die!
thing here, trapped behind a desk, would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinnie Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor. Drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them. Even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute! Talk to me! What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want, by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. You led them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. This way! The trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it. Or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. I couldn't get her out of my head. Find them, kill them. The cop and the kill. Hey, what the hell? Ah, the ball. Whoa! Well, that was. <laughs> Shit. I hate this. I hate this. I'm not going in there. Come on. Shoot! You can't hide. Cover me. Cover me. This is so cool. Best show ever. The hero chases. The hero. John Mira, and in the end, he's in the Sinsanus Center in and he looks in the mirror and sees the killer there. See, he's in the John, and he looks in the mirror, so it's like, John Mira, and he's the killer himself.
I can lend you the DVD, and they still have this cool website. Misnomer. They were making a mess of it.
house was Mona's playground. There! She's up there! Look out! She had disappeared back into the shadows. An intervention from above, over too soon. You're dead, Payne! Max, the garage backdrop. I'll let you through. Max, cleaners it's ahead. I was sick and tired of the cleaners speeding away in their vans. I had only one chance, no time to stop and think it through. I had no choice. I couldn't have waited for Mona. It was Vlad's excuse. Fate. I didn't trust myself. Max. I'd forgotten about the radio Mona had given me. Max. I'm here, took a ride with the cleaners. I'll let you know when we get where we're going. I can't talk now. I couldn't crack her. I had to crack the case. Mona, Castling Insurance Company's construction site. I'm on my way. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes, you'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. Hey, what the fuck? I thought of Vlad's Trojan horse. I'd gotten into the cleaner's hideout in the back of their van. They'd give me directions to the evidence on the top floor. Right behind is my ass. Don't let him get away, coward! The dangerous red boxes the cleaners had talked about were containers filled with explosives. That's just it. Kaufman's dead. Everyone's dead except for them. We screwed up, so we're dead too. Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? A condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get
get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Son of a bitch! Shot dead down there! Shoot! So get this. He tells me I'm new to the job. I'm worth pain. You can't.
take care of him! Vlad had said Gugnitti was eliminating the competition. Was that why the cleaners had hit Vlad's gun workshop? The room was full of illegal firearms, enough to outfit an army. Mona, these guys are packing. Close to overkill. Hardcore professionals. Doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. What's that supposed to mean? Vlad had said Gugnitti was eliminating the competition. Was that why the cleaners had hit Vlad's gun workshop? The room was full of illegal firearms, enough to outfit an army. Mona, these guys are packing, close to overkill, hardcore professionals. Doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. What's that supposed to mean?
cleaners had shed their skins. This was their turf, no need for disguises anymore. Repeat. Like always, the dead had all the answers I was missing. It wasn't that they weren't eager to talk, quite the contrary. The dead had plenty to say. And once they started, they would never shut up. Their words would keep you awake at night. The bodies, all the evidence of all the murders the cleaners had done. All the answers. It would take days to dig through it. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't this. Go to hell, Max. Mona? Damn. This cleaner stuff's made me think. Didn't you s Hey! There he is! We got him! We got him! No! Stop! The room's full of explosives! Stop shooting! Oh, shit! Run! Run! What's going on? The building's blowing up. That's what's going on.
I didn't know what Mona wanted, if it was the same thing I was after. To kill those who were trying to kill her. The bullet, real or imagined, lodged in her head, routing her synapses, driving her on. She had arrived to the site while I was inside the condemned building. I don't know what went on with her. Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? A condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Be that way. Okay, so we're breaking our backs hauling the hardware here because the choir building's not gonna exist much longer. But what are we supposed to do with the bodies? They're not gonna magically turn to dust when the building blows up. It's gonna be a mess. The boss will figure it out. Trust his twisted evil mind on this.
careful. Cover me! Doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. Sometimes, Mona, you gotta go down to get up. Sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't Go to hell, Max. Bastard. Negative. There she is! Die! Max, what's going on? The building's blowing up, that's what's going on! Max? Damn it!
Max? Max, what's happening? Throw the rules out the window? Odds are you'll go that way too. Max? Max! <coughs> this hadn't been my first fall in the night. Still just a prelude to the real deal. Still a long way to the bottom. There! Come on! Max! Company! Mona, you have to take them out. Buy me time. I couldn't live without her. my way. Max, can't get a good shot from here. I'll have to backtrack through the building to get a better view. It's not like I'm in a hurry. Do you want us to crack jokes about it? Or do you want me to go? Go. Thought so. I was in trouble. I could only hope that Mona would find an opening with a view down to the yard to take the commandos out in time. Without Mona's help, I'd be a dead man. Suddenly, for the first time and I don't know how long, I realized I didn't wish to be dead. Mona, don't mean to rush you. Looking for a window with a view. I was in trouble. I could only hope that Mona would find an opening with a view down to the yard to take the commandos out in time. Without Mona's help, I'd be a dead man. Suddenly, for the first time in I don't know how long, I realized I didn't wish to be dead. Mona, don't mean to rush you. Looking for a window with a view. here and they don't 
don't seem to be running out of ammo. Still looking for that window. Still moving. Max, the route's clear. I'm moving. Cover me. I was in trouble. I could only hope that Mona would find an opening with a view down to the yard to take the commandos out in time. Without Mona's help, I'd be a dead man. Suddenly, for the first time in I don't know how long, I realized I didn't wish to be dead. Mona, don't mean to rush you. Looking for a window with a view. Max, the route's clear. I'm moving. Cover me. This is gonna sound like a rerun, but they've got me pinned down here. I'm on it. I'll circle to the scaffolding on the other side of the yard. I was running out of time. I kept my eyes on the scaffolding, hoping to see Mona there. Mona, it's not me, but the guys are getting anxious. They're really looking forward to seeing you. I'm worth the wait. I'll be on that scaffolding in a sec. Max, I'm here. Mona, I can see a gateway to another yard. I think I can get past the last sniper. I'm making a run for it. Okay, I'll work my way through the building to meet you there. The sirens had faded away. Mona must have been relieved. Some other emergency someplace else.
at the edge of this pit. I can see a way out from here. I'm at the bottom of the pit. I'll find a way up. Okay. The commandos don't want us to leave. I'll talk to them. The commandos have had it. They're packing their bags. Found a lift. I'm on my way up. Okay, I see the lift. I'll be there. The cleaners are gone. It's all clear up here. Firing a gun is a binary choice. You either pull the trigger or you don't. Stop! Stop! Wait! Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. As surely as the bullet rips through the victim's flesh, organ, and bone, it shatters the image of the man who presses the trigger. Easy. Back off, Payne. This is what I see when I look back. These moments. Blinding as snow. They kill you. Change you. You die and live again. Remade. No, Mona. Winters! Climbing out, you can still fall back down in an instant.